All right, in this video, we're going to uh, go over the process for uh, exporting um, high and low poly meshes from ZBrush and using X normal to bake the normal maps. Now, um, usually I don't use, I'd much prefer to use X normal. I just think it gives much better results. I don't really like the results that uh, the normal maps that ZBrush spits out. So I just always find myself using X normal. Um, I never really bake in max I don't like using on a cage setting up business um because it's a little tool I'm gonna to show you next normal that's a hell of a lot easier to use than setting up projection cages and everything in max um so first things first we have our we have our high poly here um so you're gonna to want to um, plus another reason actually while I'm on the subject um if I wanted, like, I could never bring this over to, uh, you know, it's 20 million poly, so I could never bring this into max and, and have it workable in the viewport in order to bake the maps, the normal maps. So I would have to decimate this, and which would lead to uh, a destruction of, of some of the detail, you know, so it, w it wouldn't be as detailed as this is. Whereas X normal isn't directly loading the mesh in, it's just reading the OBJ text file. Um, so it doesn't matter how high it is, you know. Um, so with that out of the way, we have our high poly here. And um, we have our, our low poly here. So I'll just select the low poly. And you can see there, that's, that's our low poly version. So basically you just want to grab your low poly export it and save it as whatever name it so you know it's the low poly obviously do the same for your high poly export it at its highest level and with those two things you're ready to jump into x normal so x normal can be found here x normal.net just download it 64 bit um, and load it up and it looks like this so the main um, tools going to be using here we have our um, high definition meshes obviously our high poly low definition meshes bacon options fine detail tools to the viewer blah 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 so basically we're just going to be using them we're going to import our uh, can right click here this blue blue line add meshes and then um, See, so I have these different folders. High poly bake mesh. Now, in this case, I am. Um, I actually, when I did bake this, I did this a good while ago. But I, but I, I broke it up into a couple of different uh, objects just to get a, um, a cleaner bake. So, um, when I projected the bake, it, none of the other geometry was going to interfere. So that's just another thing you can do. I didn't have to do that, but I, I chose to do that. So, just for the example here, let's say this is the high poly. Um, if it was a single single mesh, I'm going to import that, and um, you can see all these a list of things across here. So um, there's not much to worry about here. Um, mesh get one scrap. Ignore per vertex color means that um, if this mesh had been uh, poly painted, that uh, vertex paint information will be exported into our obj file and if we uncheck this we can also bake our poly paint directly to a texture map based on your uvs so we're not going to do that in this case but if you did want to do that that's where you'd find that option um, and export the normals everything else here is fine so same again right click on your blue bar here add meshes and i'll go to um low poly final object so there's a bit more of a list of stuff here so you can see here um if we had a you couldn't import a cage which we don't need to do and we have our array distance here these two ray distances for uh, front and rear and um there's a tool here that i'm going to use which is brilliant it's one of the my favorite things about x normal if you just come down to tools ray distance calculator 
click on it and it'll automatically um we'll see here that this is um what we want to bake to or this is what sorry this is what we want to uh project to so if we select that and just click go now you'll see here it's calculating so what it's doing is calculating the optimal distance between the high poly and the low poly and effectively uh, generating uh, the perfect cage so you can see here it's computing and it's given us um, its calculation here so you can see the numbers are changing so the longer you leave it the more it's going to refine that calculation so um, you can just leave it leave it leave it leave it leave it and then when you see that the numbers aren't really changing you know you can wait 30 seconds a minute whatever it doesn't take long when the numbers aren't changing you can just click stop copy results values copied okay close and if we go back up here now to um you can see here here's the distances calculated you know to whatever five decimal places so we know now that we've got gotten a good result with our cage projection so now we can come to bacon options this is where you're going to save your file this is the resolution you want to save to you can leave your pattern here and um, your bucket size right so as I say we can leave uh, bucket size as is um, leave this as is at the alias and 4x is good um, it's the highest there so you might as well choose that and here's a list of all our maps now in this case you know we're just going to be um, baking out a normal map but you can if you want um, bake out all these other maps you can see there's a whole whole big list of maps here um, a great selection of maps and um, I usually use endo or take me normal map baked from X normal and use uh, endo or endo or endo endo whatever it's called I use that to um, generate the other maps based off the normal map here from X normal so normal map is checked we know we're going to save it we know our resolution we have our edge pattern and our DA listen and then you just click generate maps so I'll just uh, I'm not going to generate it because I've generated these before I'm just going to um, pause it jump into Photoshop and show you the, the result right so here's the uh, results of our bake from X normal now don't worry about all this blank space and um, this sword was combined with a shield so it's just taking up these UVs here in the shield would have been taking up the rest so and don't pay any attention to that so I'm gonna go into uh, right the way in it with 1 to 100 percent and you can see here the detail that we've gotten you know it's it's pretty nice and there's very few um, there's very few errors um, it might look like there is here but th that's all this is a lot of edge pad and stuff here but um because I've already this was done a good while ago and I know what, what it looks like when it's applied to the model um, but you can uh, go into channels here and have a look at the different channels um, and you can um, you know if you do have errors you can use the clone stamp tool and uh, you can paint out the paint the errors out the clone stamp tool in the different channels um, so we'll back to RGB and one other, one other um, kind of a handy trick is uh, to boost it, the details to give some finer details on your normal maps you can just duplicate your uh, layer here in Photoshop and just set it to um, soft light and uh, I don't know if you saw that in the video but it instantly um, is, you know it sharpened up all the details it made them punch them out kind of made them more punchy not that that is really a word but you know whatever so yeah that's um, using X normal very easy to use quick to bake and decent results so yep that is X normal alright
Cheers, thanks. Good luck. Sorry, yeah, one more thing I just thought I'd show really quickly. Um, the final result, what it looks like here in uh, Marmoset. Marmoset 2. So this is the sword. It's quite easy in Marmoset, just import it. You have your environments here. Um, that's pretty much it. Then you just, your material over here, you import whichever maps. So uh, here's our normal map and the albedo map that's just a color map then we have a specular map or a reflection map here so they're just other maps that i created but uh let's zoom in here close and you can see um you know there's the detail that it's retained even at um even though it's you know it's it's really you know taken up a bit less than a 2k texture and this is really really closely zoomed in and uh, that that's the results so I just thought I'd, um, I'd show them there just at the end of the video just so you can see the kind of decent results you can get from X normal alright that's it then cheers thanks for